I just wanted to show you guys some tricks to remember some of the trends for your periodic table. Okay, so one of the first tricks that I have is a little saying, A and M likes to stand at football games. Okay, so to represent A and M standing at football games, I have a little snowman. Okay, now what the snowman is supposed to represent is the group trend. Okay, as we go down the body of the snowman, what's happening to the size of his body? It's increasing. Okay, so this should represent the group trend as increasing. And then when that snowman falls over, it's going to represent your period trend. So as we move across the period, our trend actually decreases in size, just like the size of his body. Okay, so again, this is what it's supposed to represent. Okay, as we go down the group, okay, our trend increases. And then when that snowman falls over, okay, our, um, our trend decreases. Okay, now, what trends does this actually go with? Okay, so the A in A&M actually stands for atomic radius. Okay, so remember, atomic radius is the distance from the center of the nucleus to the outermost shell. Okay, that's what the A stands for, atomic radius. So as we go down the group, it's going to increase. As we go across the period, it decreases. Okay, now, um, your M stands for metal reactivity, okay? Same trend. As you go down the group, it increases, and as we move across the period, it decreases, okay? So that's a way to remember um, how atomic radius and metal reactivity increases or decreases, okay? So another little trick that we have to remember the other trends Okay, is the little saying, Einstein likes to do headstands. Okay, but this time it's going to be the opposite. Okay, because we can think of Einstein because of the crazy hair. He's kind of weird and crazy. So Einstein likes to do headstands. So this time we have an upside down snowman. Okay, so if you notice the size of his body, it decreases as we go down. And then if we tip him over, if he falls over, then as we go across the period, our trend is going to increase. Okay, so um, the E in Einstein is going to stand for electronegativity. Okay, so that's the ability to attract an electron. The I in Einstein is going to be for ionization energy, the energy required to remove an electron. And then the N in Einstein represents our nonmetal reactivity. Okay, so that way it's easier for you, to guy, uh, for you guys to remember which one is which, which one is decreasing, which one is increasing, because I do understand that it can get a little confusing. Okay, so hopefully these little tricks will help you um, with the periodic trends. If you have any further questions, let me know.